hello everybody again i'm not sure what happened um i started my live and then it says it shows rejected so um i'm gonna start over again with um the coloring and i was gonna wait till maybe somebody showed up to um to see if they wanted me to color the skin like um like i did with the last one or if you guys wanted me to just go on to the um onto the body um if anybody is here just let me know what you want to see otherwise i'll just continue on with the skin um and i did show how i sharpened it but i'll show it again um so this one it, it didn't have um a brand name to it but um like i was saying at home i normally use the um, uh, faber castell or even the stedler and i do like the stedler um uh, sharpener a little more but i accidentally um, forgot it at home so i went to the, an art store and i found this one for a little over three dollars and um i do like um these german sharpeners um especially the ones that are made with all metal i know i noticed that a lot of sharpeners have um this plastic casing uh plastic um, area here and only the metal for the blades i actually don't like those too much i prefer the metal ones hi tracy and dana sorry i started the live earlier and it didn't something something went wrong on facebook so i started over um someone um, did ask about the sharpeners and um and i do sharpen and sharpen these a certain way like if i wouldn't use this one it'll make the point it will make it sharp but it will also make the the point longer and um i prefer to make it to make it oops i'm out of frame to make it shorter and to do this i use the the bigger hole and i don't go straight in I kind of do it at a at like a slight tilt, and um, I took the um, the little plastic and the little shaving catcher, so I can show you how I do it. If I can see what I'm doing, and I only shave a tiny bit, and actually that's a little more than I did the last time, and it still makes it um. It still makes it where you can have a sharp point. It's just um, shorter, so if you break your lead, it's not that much. Hello, Mel. Am I catching you guys at lunchtime? I know that um, I'm I'm here early compared to the to the other gals, to the other DT sisters. And the time um, I can watch and do stuff with um, with the other, you know, while the other ladies are having their um their lives but i can't actually commit to um the later time hey bonnie so um since nobody was here i mean did you want me to work on the skin or go straight onto the fur because i can i can do you know go on to straight to the fur and skip the skin or i can still do the skin and show the fur so um that way i don't i don't bore you <laughs> Now I see what um what Amy goes through. Hi Darletta. Hi everybody. Um when Amy goes through and she's waiting for she's waiting for a comment or a response. So I'll continue with the skin and you know, but if it's gonna bore you, I'll just oh okay, I Mel said um fur. Okay. So for the so I made her into a Luna moth. And I'm not sure if you um if you see um, moths or even butterflies, if you look closely, they're actually really furry. They look, you know, pretty furry. So um, I wanted. I know that the body of a the the body part is a little bit um, is really white and furry, and then it has these sort of minty green leaf, uh, not leaves, wings, and um, and they actual they actually have a little bit of fur on this area as well. So I'll um I'll do this furry area then. 
And um, I also start really light. And um, if the brown part of the paper shows this even better, because when you actually go on to add more details, she looks a little bit like um, see-through, but you can see um, some of the dimension of her her breast or her um, hip. So um, I'll make it light. Well, Tracy, I I bore my kids to death and I bore my husband to death. <laughs> That's why I say I'm gonna. I don't want to bore you gals too. And I'm going to um um leave that so I can show you um a little bit of the background because I am gonna go over the background to um to um, show off the fur. And the last time I used, let me see, I used this, um, I'm not even gonna try to say that, blue, <laughs> but it's a dark blue. And then this one is a light phthalo blue. And I think this time, instead of having the dark inside and the light outside, I'm gonna reverse it. So um, here um, I do press a slightly bit harder. And I'm just gonna show that area since um, and then because I'm gonna blend it, that's why I wanna um, add this section here. And like I said, this um, this time I am pressing slightly a bit more. And here is where the colors will start blending. And I actually could have went harder here. But this part is where the colors will sort of blend. And I... Um, sometimes I do scribble, scrabble. <laughs> And other times, I try to do one pencil in one direction and the other in, a, you know, like a crosshatch motion. And I just want to have enough coverage here so I can um, go over it with the white. Because usually, it's like the final step. The, for the first, like one of the last things that I do. Where's that? Um, you can do it on white paper as well. It doesn't matter. Um, only if you want to show more, um, you know, depth or dimension, you might have to add a little more gray or whatever sh shading you want to use it you want to use it can be even green because like i said the the luna moths are sort of like a minty green and they but they do have this sort of white body and to make the white usually um to make white on white paper you usually need gray or some other color other than white um so now i'm gonna add um let me see a little shade with this what is this cold cold gray? I think that's a four. Was that a four or a six? <laughs> Don't laugh at me. Forgetting my Roman numerals. I think that's a six. So um, I do add a little gray, like I mentioned earlier, especially if you're using white. And I did want to add like a little belly button. Let 
this will actually make mix her look um, a little sort of like sheer and this is where hi Francis I'm having issues with printing on craft paper it comes out black Wow black where what do you mean it comes out black I oh blank um how do you are you having it like um on transparency um uh, yeah i do need to sharpen my pencil again <laughs> but like i said i i sharpen so little of it it doesn't eat too much of the pencil up so i'm just sharpening it on the side and um for this area, I, I forgot to highlight it here a little more, just to emphasize on that breast, emphasize on the hip, sort of, you know, poking out. And I think, or here, the, the thigh here. And here I am pressing slightly more than the rest of it. So for the fur, I start adding just little lines and kind of like wisp them out like eyelashes. And the ones on here, because we went softer, they'll show up more. And then if you notice, I, I twist my pencil around because the more I press on paper, and I didn't even do the hair, I forgot the hair. Um, the more it kind of flattens out, it flattens it out as I'm using it. So I just twist it a little bit after a few, maybe a few um, little strokes. I twist it so it doesn't get like, you know, like here I was kind of, Skinnier, and then it, it, they're going kind of thicker and also because I'm using the pencil up more but if I twist it or rotate slightly it won't it won't do that it won't um, look so thick so see it, it's, it wasn't too it wasn't too hard it's pretty easy to show the fur And if you want to emphasize more, you can also use a, a pencil. And, I mean, not a pencil, a, um, a, jelly, a jelly pen. And I'm using this one by um, the Sakura Jelly Roll. And sometimes I use the um, Uniball Signal. Sometimes I do this on here. And it just it just shows a little more. I don't, I don't want to do it here because I didn't do the skin yet. Um, but pretty much you can, that's how I do the texture. Um, I can add, go back with the pencil and add more in the center because it's not. I see some bald spots and I'm not sure if you I'm not sure if how long you guys gals have been here but um, one of my very actually my very first car that I did as a DT um, I made one of the um, I think she was like out in the snow so I I gave her um, like a furry um, hood and then during, I think it was April, around Easter, there were some bunnies. And I, this is how I added the texture on all of them. Yep. So, that's how I do fur. <laughs> Did you want to see more of, the, of her colored up? Or are you good with the, just the fur? Hi, Christine.
Yeah, I don't remember if I sent that card to Kelly. I know I sent her a lot of cards, but I don't remember if I sent her that particular um, card or not. Um, okay, um, let's see, I can, okay, I can finish the skin. And um, I want to give her this um, nose bridge. And I make a little indentation for the for the nostril. Then, and that was with the white. This one, uh, cold gray. And just sort of shaping up the the nose. And like I said, I like, um, on the previous video, I like to make eyelids. Sometimes I add makeup and sometimes I don't. But I do like the, I, I do like to have an eyelid. Um, and I'm trying not to block, put my fat fingers on over the coloring. Because I noticed that on my last video. Oh, you guys want hair. Okay. Um, let me see. Um, I'm trying to see. Move here without touching my camera. Um, I'm going to use burnt umber a little bit of magenta hey T sorry if I'm missing anybody and this kaput mortem <laughs> don't laugh at my pronunciations so okay um, I want to like I said in the last video I want to establish some highlights and this I like doing this with um when I do pencils and if I'm doing marker and, and pencil combination I do the marker part first so I try to figure out where I want highlights or where I see a bump or um sort of hair that's raised up I add some highlights there then a little bit of highlight here and there um, and not too much here because I know it's sort of behind her but I still want her to have shiny hair then I'll um that was white then I'll go with um this burnt umber Oops, burnt umber. And I'll try to pick out the darker areas. And this one, um, I'm not making um, strands. I'm just coloring in lightly. I will make strands, but a little later. Behind the flowers and the ears. You want that ear to poke out above the hair. Where else? We want to show a bend here. Oh, in here. You can't hear me or you can hear me? Sorry. Do it a little 
dark around behind her shoulder. Mm. Okay, now I'm going to go with this. Um, wait, I'll go with this one. This magenta. And this one I sharpened at home, so I hadn't used it in a while, so it's still sort of sharpened. And I'll go over this um, burnt umber and part of the white. And these I do want to make a little more like, uh, well, some like strands and some closer to that darkened area, not so much. And I'm twisting it around. I'm not sure if um, some people can color and, you know, going upward. And I noticed that I can color, when I color upward, I can make finer lines, but I can't control the direction as much as going down. So um, this is how I, I color going downwards. And it all, I think it depends on how you hold your pencil or how you have you trained your hand to do things. But for me to make it um, in the direction I want, I I go I use my strokes down. Um. Then I'll use this this middle tone. And like I said, I'm not going to try and say it because you might be laughing at me. Okay, then I'll go back to this burnt umber. I'm gonna try to sharpen it a little more. Well, they are, what are they, German, right? Yep, they're German. <laughs> so, I breaking it so this one I'm going back to this area to make more hair like strands darken this here now I can go back to this um the fur here on the back now I can go back here and add those little you know like little wisp or like eyelashes and they sort of stick out So there you go, you're, that's how you do the fur.
Um, did you want me to continue? Um, or is this fine? <laughs> Keep them short, right? <laughs> Or I can um I can do the the wings and for the wings I originally used a different green but I actually in my pencil bag I actually had this um what is it light thalo green and luna luna moths actually look a little more of that color than than the color I was using so um I will go see and these are sharpened at home with a different sharpener. You can go sideways and that way it's not so many um harsh lines and it covers a little more. You can hold it this way. I think this was a leaf, too. I mean, I keep saying leaf, wing, not leaf. It's because it's green, <laughs> I keep thinking is we're saying that out loud. And I also change the direction of my hand when I'm going in to the edges. I think it um, that helps because if you're like this the whole time, I think that makes your hand tired and I don't find my hand getting tired um, you would, because I move my, the way I hold my pencil and I, and I um, what do you call it, rotate my image around. So that is enough color and I do want a little white areas this one because it's shorter i'm having more of a um demarcation on my coloring if you had um gamsol and i did bring my gamsol but i did not bring my brush so that was my my fault and some and this is i'm just it gets this little dust and I just kind of smear it on there. So, or you can uh, wipe it off, but I, to blend, I just blend it in with my finger. And again, I'm coloring really light. Oh, you want me to do the eyes instead of the wings? I'll do that. Oh, move it to the right. Okay, sorry about that. Um, T wants to see the eyes because they look creepy right now, don't they? <laughs> they look creepy when it's not colored. Usually I do the um the face and the eyes first. Okay. This um and this I am pressing a little harder than, than I did here. Uh not don't wanna press too hard just enough so you can blend with um, another color and you can go in with a lighter gray and this one is the same cool gray. like I, said, I don't change my colors too much I keep them and I kind of marry them in between different parts of the the image and I'm going here um, I go 
under on the part on the bottom part of the eye but I try to more focus more on the darker at the top and that's just because I'm she has eyelashes or imagine her having long ash eyelashes and they um, shade that area and this is just to round the eye out and I just go back with the white to blend part of that out and um, I'm gonna do the green eyes again because I didn't bring that many colors and I start with the yellow And oop, that was um, cadmium yellow. This one is permanent green. Almost put it on the white part, on the sclera. And for the shading um, to the corner of the, the eye, I add a little gray again. And this, this part that's close to the eyelid, same here and here. You can also add a darker green, but I didn't bring too many pencils. Um, then we can go on to the to the um, pupil and I kind of map out where I want to leave my my catch light Hopefully I don't do it too, too wonky. Sorry, the light is making it look too shiny, huh? And then with the same jelly roll, Sakura jelly, jelly roll, um, I add the catch lights. There. Um, I forgot to make add her eyelashes. Um, I give her some eyeliner on her waterline or just just go over the one that's already there. And then follow that the artist line. Same to this side. Um, I forgot to do the eyebrows in this one, the funny color that I don't know how to pronounce. And then I'll go back with the burnt umber. just to make it look like little hairs and for the lips oops. the lips are pretty small so I um, 
try to um, make a line right here at the bottom lip and then a little bit at the top and then I'll go in with this um, matter and this one again is sharpened from back from when I was at home and this will blend out with the white a little bit but I don't cover the white entirely because I wanted her lips to look like they have a little bit of gloss and I want her lips to be popping and what else I can add a little bit of cheek color And it could be a lighter color or none if we don't want any blush. And, oh, that was, um, what color was that? That was, see, rose carmine. And I didn't add any shading to her face. And no, didn't add shading here either. Mm -hmm. What am I missing? Shading here. Thank you, Mel and Christine. Um, adding the shadow into the, the ear, under her armpit, um, where else, oh, on her leg, on her thigh, and this is, oops, I had that paper because my light was too bright and that fell off <laughs> um let's see oh a little bit under here mm. oh you're welcome Darlotta Thank you. And thank you, Tracy. Um, adding some shading under the arm. And this is, like I said, I'm coloring lightly. I'm not coloring, I'm not pressing hard at all, if you want this look. Um, I do have some um, images that I do press harder, or I um, sort of varnish it. That's not varnish, it's something else. Um, I can't think of the word. Um, I do press harder on other images, but this one I want that, like, soft look, so I'm coloring very lightly. And I want to go around the forehead, on the, right under this, um, this hair bang. Varnish, yeah. I said varnish, didn't I? <laughs> that's not the word. That's for painting. But you're right, Darletta. And I mean, Dana. Sorry. So, um, I do want to add a little bit of white on her forehead. Just because the forehead, or on some people, it pokes out like mine. And then the ear. And a little bit here. Um, what else? I can do the flower. And for the flower, I didn't use too many colors. I just... Um, 
recycling some of these colors that I already used. Uh, cadmium yellow, and this is a different color here. Um, the burnt ochre. Or ochre or ochre. I'm not sure. But um, I start with um, this burnt ochre here. And this one I am pressing a little more than I did on the skin or anywhere else. And then I'll go in with this yellow. And like I said, I'm pressing here because I'm not I'm not gonna mix too many colors. Just these two. And the more you press sometimes the the more it pops. Colors look a little funny. On the camera or on my phone. And I'm just going over here. And then um We've used this permanent green already. And I go over these leaves. Um, I had another green, I don't know what I did with it. Well, since I can't find it, I'll do, I'll use this gray this cold gray <laughs> what what do you mean it's not looking like mine um what what's different and it's okay if it doesn't look like mine like sometimes mine don't look like mine like i mean like i was trying to color the one that i did before and it looks a little different it doesn't, you know, it's okay. Um, I need to find that green. I don't know what I did with it. My room, and I was cleaning that up, and then I didn't get all my colors together. Okay, well, I use this, um, I'll use this permanent green for this area. And, um... You know how I said I had, how I can control it when I'm going downwards? But this time, um, I, I don't mind. So I'm just going, um, sort of um, going and then lifting. And same here. So start and sort of lift. And this is for those little lines that... Um, that, like little veins that you might see on a on a moth or a butterfly, and I do it on um, um, rotate my image. And then try to be careful on the edge because it kind of gets stuck on there or it kind of like trips over. Um, then on some of them, I add a little more, um, I don't know where I put that other green, so, um, I'll just add a little gray for a little shading. And I did, I tried to, um, look at a Luna Moth, and some of them have this eye-looking thing, and I didn't do it on this one. Because I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> Thank you. The lighting is a little funny though. That's, that's bothering me a little bit. Um, let me see if I turn this light on. Does, is that better? Does that make it worse? It's too much um, of that shine.
What else? Oh, I can um, add some of that fur, that little fur they have. And I'm gonna wait to do that, that age because um, I didn't add the blue yet. So, um, lightly, lightly burnishing this area with um, white. And then add a little fur. Um, these wings were actually part of that um, they were actually part of the stamp so um when the video is over if you like um you can see, actually um you can see the name i deleted the link because for some reason when i started the first live um facebook rejected my live video saying that i'm trying to sell something so um i tried the video without that link and um I can add the link when I'm done, but her name is actually Flora Sweet Sweetbriar, I think. I forgot. <laughs> um, maybe um, T can help me, or um, or Tracy. Her name is Flora, though. If you search for Flora, and I did write the name on the notes when I started the video, I had the link, but Facebook kicked me out. Or didn't like I noticed that it wasn't I was live but Facebook wouldn't let me um go public so um oh and this one I had already started that one when I started this bottom part but it's this um light thalo blue thank you Bonnie yeah it is uh, floral sweet briar um, this was from, I believe it was the April release. The actual release, not the not the vault. The vault was for those bunnies I was telling you about when I did this um, fur method. Um, and the, if there was... Um, there was fauna, there was flora, and there was another one that I can't remember. And this is that word I can't pronounce. Another blue, a dark blue, and it doesn't matter as long as you have um, a dark blue. It's almost it's it almost has a purple. And I do want to go into that thalo light thalo blue just a little bit because I'm going to blend them out more anyway hello Annabelle now she's an expert in coloring pencils she's one of my coloring pencil muses <laughs> I need to watch some, some of your videos Annabelle I learn a lot of new because I'm just a newbie. <laughs> well, not a newbie, but I'm not as skilled as you. <laughs> Hello, Melissa. Am I catching you on your lunch break? I know that you get out of work a little later. Hi, Melissa. Oh, you're sneaking in. So I wanted to do this one I did on the reverse 
order. So I did the light here and then I did the blue, dark blue on the outside instead. Just because I just, I don't know, I thought I looked funny. So I was trying a different, a different color. I mean, a different, um, reversing it. See, I tell you, I forget how to speak when I'm coloring. <laughs> and then doing the live. All right, um, the light is making me not see spots that I'm missing on here. Too much, too much of that glare going on. The same thing, um, sometimes with color pencils, it's hard to photograph. And then I have to take all these pictures in different angles just to, you know, to get a good one. It's like you have to be in, looking at it in person to make a, um, to appreciate it a little more. Um, then, what did I do? I added some, some, or I was aiming for, like, stars because, you know, the Luna Moths. Moths come out at night, or most of them anyway. And I want her to be sort of glowing in the night. Oops. Hello, Janice. Thank you. Thank you, Dana. So, she's, um, oh, and for this one, I wanted to add a little bit of, um, a little bit of that glitter. Well, look, that one came off. Um, I just added spots, and since I don't have anything to really add, I just grabbed, like, the corner of, um, of one of these pieces of the car stock. Oh, first I put some here, and I used this, um, Deco Art Galaxy Glitter. And like I said, Kelly um, does sell a bunch of them, but I didn't, I messed up or and uh, left a lot of my stuff at home. And mostly because I was rushing and trying to um, pack for my kids. But, um, and I packed my stuff at the end and then I forgot a bunch of stuff. So, um, this is finished how I did um, the fur. And actually, Annabelle is the one who, she does some amazing, amazing um, texture and fur and all that. So, I'm going to add glitter um, to this one. And, and then again, I'm going to add the backs to this ATC. And when I'm done with them, I'm going to send them to um, Kelly so she can send them to just random customers because I didn't, um, didn't make the magical um ATCs on time so um that was it thank you so much for watching and um hopefully by the end of the week I have all the colors and um you know everything all my materials posted in, on a blog post that way you don't have to be pausing and playing the videos a lot to try to get the colors um thank you so much for stopping by um and thank you for um joining me on the live. Have a nice day.